disease is one of the most common genetic diseases in the whole world. In fact, statistics have shown that over 300,000 babies are born with sickle cell disease every year. It affects millions of Africans, especially here in Nigeria, where the majority of the children with the severe form of the disease die even before they get to age 5. This is quite pathetic and alarming. Here is the need for this outreach. Now, look at what happens to people that have sickle cell disease. This is normal red blood cell of a healthy human being. This is how it's supposed to appear. Now, this is how a sickle zone appears. Do you understand? Am I, am I making sense? This is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be round in shape. The normal red blood cell of every human is supposed to be like this. But because these people have what we call abnormal hemoglobin, it makes their own to be like this. AS plus AS can break a heart. Smart people tell before they date. AA and SS can get married so that they can have people that have the thing in their gene as carriers, but they are not sick. They don't have the disease. Do you understand? If you see somebody, eh? That they say the person is sickle cell patient. Like sickle cell. They are not called patients, they are called warriors. You see a sickle cell warrior in your class, and the person is always sick. In fact, when they are doing something, the person is not even paying attention. The person complains of body pain, headache, and the rest of it. What will you do to the person? Show care, support, and love for those suffering with sickle cell instead of stigmatizing them. Take them to the nearest, to any nearest healthcare facility for care and attention. Know your genotype, save the next generation. One of our major goals yesterday is to make young people know their genotype and also understand the consequences of genotype mismatching because we believe that with the right information, we'll be able to end sickle cell disease and help the next generation. Sickle cell is, let me say, in a state whereby different genotypes like AS and AS get married and get give birth to a child that has a bad as in not that, that bad, SS. but SS, sickle cell transition, something like that. <laughs> Please clap for her. Clap for yes. In Victoria Oya Health Foundation, we are breaking the silence as we approach the public. We recommend genotype testing for intending couples to check for sickle cell before marriage. We advise nursing mothers to take their children to the hospital to test for sickle cell. I'm not my genotype, I am a warrior. No child deserves a life of pain, prevents sickle cell. We are here not just to talk, but to make a difference. We are here handing out information. We are here clearly means about sickle cell, helping students understand the need to be the ambassador of change, not just in their school, but in their homes, their various communities, and our nation at large. Thank you, Victoria Again, thank you. The impact was impressive because I really appreciate giving the students the uh, the the what they're supposed to know because most of these children did not know what they learned today, and I pray may God assist them to know more of it by their smiles, operation. You could tell that they are so happy, excited by your teaching. And I believe through your teaching today, they've learned more about sickle cells and the dangers associated to these sickle cells. And I believe that through this teaching, they will help to end sickle cell disease. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having Thanks. us again. <laughs> the outreach was a successful one. We didn't expect the turn up and the collaboration of the students. Everybody participated from the way they were asking questions to the way they were answering. We are very proud and we are very happy that we are part of this movement. Thank you.